We're going back to Tobago. We have solved our audio issues, so we'll be, we'll be chatting this morning with Clement Williams, again, professional photographer, as well as Ivor Allen, who is the editor. We are speaking vintage images of Tobago, and we're going to find out more. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Trinidad. Yes, it's great to be hearing from you. Now, uh, Clement, you are originally, you were born in Guyana, but you've spent over 40 years in Tobago and taking pictures and chronicling the... Uh, landscape and, and many images of Tobago for quite some time. Tell us, you know, from your experience and the images that you've taken, what have you seen? What, what type of, what type of um, photos would you have taken, like, you know, the landscape and the, and the tapestry, so to say, of Tobago? Okay. Um, I must thank, first of all, thank God for giving me the strength to do it. And uh, the sponsorship of the book is by um, Four Seasons Bank. Now, uh, I started as an amateur photographer in the 1980s, documenting Tobago, um, the colonial structures in Tobago. And I continued until I became a professional photographer in 2001. Right. right. And from then I continued and I started a book called Vintage Tobago. And I looked at the buildings in Scarborough, buildings out of Scarborough, the old airport, uh, some of the sugar states that are in the dilapidated condition. And I decided to get together and make a book with the old Tobago so that could bridge the gap between the old and the young. Because this, the, the younger people, um, people do not know what Tobago looked like in the 1940s. Because right. I source photos from older people, 1940s, 50s, 60s. And I was here in, 1970s, in the 70s, but I came back late 1970s to, um, to live permanently. And I documented these um, images and I compiled a book. And um, first I thought of doing it overseas, but the costs would have been too high for locals to purchase. So I looked for a printer in Trinidad, Script J, and they did it for me so I could have a course that is affordable to all and sundry. Right, definitely. But in that time, over a 40 year period, you know, how, you, how would you describe the change that you've seen from when you first started taking pictures of Tobago to what we see now? Well, there are certain parts of Tobago um, actually remain actually the same. Because I have a photograph that I show a young man of Scarborough in the 1950s. And he could have picked it out by just looking at the, the layout of Scarborough. Right. The only thing changed really was they have a broad walk and they have the, the porters extended. But the whole strip on uh, Carrington Street remains the same. Definitely. Yeah. And Ivor, I want to bring you into the, the conversation. And the photographers on the Carnival Tuesday. Yeah. And Ivor, I want to bring you into the conversation. You know, what does it mean to you, um, you know, being able to um, help chronicle and to curate these images to, you know, that, that helps to preserve the history of Tobago? Well, I'm indeed very happy to have helped Clement um, with, with this because I am also an amateur photographer myself and have been taking pictures over the years. And we must compliment Clement for not only talking the talk, but walking the walk as far as this publication is concerned. Now, this collaboration you have done together what is the story you want to tell, you know, with these images, these vintage images of Tobago, you know, um, in this time now, 2020? What is the story you, you both wanted to tell with the making of this book? Well, it, it brings back a lot of memories for the older folks, and it helps the younger people to understand what Tobago looked like the games people played, the, the little things like the flat iron and the hula hoop, the bursting of the bamboo, the, 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 the skater and things like this, which um, of course you will longer see in, 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 in these modern times. Yes, correct. And you started an exhibition in Scarborough at the Scarborough Library. Tell us more about it and how long will it be for again? Let, let me answer that. Okay, um, the, the exhibition in the library, what I did, um, I'm a tutor at um, UWE, 
school to continue study and not the community development. So I try to bring the, the young people who are doing these courses now, they have some images, and try to expose them to the public so that the public can see that there are young, there are young generation of photographers coming up now that are able to document Tobago from now onward. All right. And I have some art pieces of um, young artists that to showcase to the public that these young people, 18 and 19 year olds, have talent and they ought to be exposed. And also in the exhibition, we have a, a wood zoo. There's a guy who, in Mason Hall, used driftwood and right. the shape of different animals and birds. And he tried to, uh, we have an exhibition with it, so people can see that or in craft, even driftwood, you can make a living using driftwood. That is, that is so interesting. And of course, uh, people need to come down to the Scarborough Library uh, to see that exhibition and to see the works not only of the book that you have uh, produced, but also of the, the young artists as well. I want to thank you gentlemen for joining us this morning and giving us this wonderful information. And we do look forward to uh, more of your work and to being able to share it with everyone. But thank you, Clement Williams, professional photographer, as well as Iva Allen, who is the editor of this new book. And again, you can see the exhibition at the Scarborough Library. All right, we are gonna take a short break and come right back with much more. So guess what, stay with us. Mm -hmm.